Okay, let us go for the next one this time matrix match type. First part of this matrix says if the magnitude of the projection vector of the vector alpha i cap plus beta j cap on root 3 i cap plus j cap is root 3. Projection of alpha i plus beta j on this one is root 3. Projection of a on b when we talk about projection of a on b then it is a dot b cap. Now alpha i plus beta j cap on root 3 i cap plus j cap. So, the projection will give me simply root 3 alpha plus beta divided by square root of 3 plus 1 that is 2. Now, this modulus is equal to root 3 given to me right. Next what is given alpha is 2 plus root 3 beta. So, from the first equation we have root 3 alpha plus beta is plus minus 2 root 3 and the second equation we have alpha is equal to 2 plus root 3 beta. We can simply solve these two equations to get alpha and beta. Now, what they are asking for the possible value of mod alpha and mod beta. On simplifying this equation, we obtain mod alpha can be 1 or 2. So, it is simply p q. Next, a and b be real numbers such that the function f x equals this one is differentiable. Now, possible value of a this is differentiable means obviously it is continuous. If it is continuous at 1 we can say it will give me minus 3a minus 2 left hand limit equals b plus a square. It is differentiable at 1 means minus 6a simply differentiating on left side and substituting x as 1 that is approaching towards 1 and from the right side it is equal to b. So, substitute the value of b over here to get the value for a right on simplification we can get the value as required in this one for a as 1 or 2 again p and q. Just simplify these two equations by substituting b as minus 6a to get a as 1 or 2 that is again same p and q move to the third one. Let omega be a complex cube root of unity if 3 minus 3 omega plus 2 omega square raised to the power 4 and plus 3 and so on is 0. Now, look at the pattern 3 minus 3 2 2 3 minus 3 means it can be rearranged. We can plan to take 3 minus 3 omega plus 2 omega square raised to the power 4 and plus 3 common out of these three terms means 3 minus 3 omega plus 3 omega square raised to the power 4 n plus 3 we can plan to take common. Now, when I take common the first term we will be having just 1 in second what will happen? When I consider this one I need 3 omega square so that it can be read as 3 when I try to multiply the second term by omega square inside I will be getting 2 omega square 3 omega cube 3 omega 4 same as the previous one. When I multiplied omega square inside means I divided omega square outside means 1 by omega square 1 by omega square means omega. So, I can read it omega raised to the power 4 n plus 3 left inside next here I require to multiply by just omega. So, means multiply divide by 1 by omega. So, we have omega square raised to the power 4 n plus 3 the next term is equal to we have to get 0. Now, to make it 0 since power 3 is simply 0 we are left with 1 plus omega to the power 4 n omega square to the power 4 n. We can check out the values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 by simply substituting. When I substitute 3, it will not be 0. If I say it is 1, I will get 1 plus omega 4 means omega, omega 8 means omega square. So, P is correct. So, 
writing the options for this one P is correct, similarly Q will be correct, R will not be correct, S and T will follow it. So, we find P, Q, S, T for this third matrix match part. Now, go for D. Let the harmonic mean of two positive real numbers A and B is 4. If Q is the positive real number such that A 5 Q B is in A P, these are in A P, these four terms, then the value or values of mod Q minus A. Now, Q minus A, if I say common difference of this A P is D, then Q minus A mod does I can say it is simply 2D. So, Q minus A is 2D if I say D is the common difference of this AP, right. Now, let us say this is alpha that is D is alpha by 2. When I say D is alpha by 2, now I can talk about the term A. Since 5 is equal to A plus D, right. So, A is 5 minus D. So, it is 5 minus alpha by 2. Similarly, B, B we can say it is 5 plus 2 D or simply 5 plus alpha. We obtained A and B in terms of alpha. What is alpha? Alpha is the requirement Q minus A. We are looking for mod, L, mod Q minus A. So, we are looking for mod alpha. This is clear. So, A and B are obtained a and B, the harmonic mean is 4, means since 4 is 2AB upon A plus B. So, simply put the value for A and B in terms of alpha, that will give you the required possible values of alpha with this constraint, the given constraints. So, from these 4 options, we find that correct ones are Q and T. Right. So, let us go for the next matrix. Okay, let us start with the next matrix. In a triangle x, y, z, let a, b, c denote the lengths of the sides opposite to the angles x, y, z respectively as usual. Twice of a square minus b square is equal to c square and lambda is sin x minus y upon sin z. Then possible values of n for which cos n pi lambda is 0. So, basically I first have to simplify the term lambda equals sin x minus y divided by sin z. We can apply sin a minus b formula that gives me sin x cos y minus cos x sin y. Simply change it in terms of sides on changing in terms of sides, you will conclude this term simply as a square minus b square by c square as lambda. Nothing difficult to do, change as sin x cos y minus cos x sin y and apply sin rule to say a upon sin a equals b upon sin b equals c upon sin c equals k and apply cos rule that is cos x is equal to b square plus c square minus a square upon 2 b c. Simply apply the result, you will get the value for lambda as half. Now, when I say lambda is half, so it is n pi by 2. It will be 0 if n is odd, means for the first one, we observe the correct r p r s, because we need odd 1 3 5. So, P R S, these are correct ones. Move to the second one. In a triangle X, Y, Z, let A, B, C the same thing be the lengths of sides opposite to the angles X, Y, Z respectively. If 1 plus cos 2 X minus 2 cos 2 Y is equal to 2 sin X sin Y. Again, the same approach, nothing new. First, change angle 2 X to Y into X and Y, that is 1 plus cos 2 X can be written as 2 cos square x. Similarly, cos 2 y can be changed to simply cos square y or sin square y, whatever you want to. Then, change everything in terms of sin, because here we have sin x sin y. We will be changing sin x sin y in terms of sides saying k a k b. So, we need k square here as well. 
So, apply it, change it to sides, change to sides from angle to side. When you change it from angle to side, you obtain a quadratic equation in terms of A and B. Quadratic equation in terms of A and B that gives you A by B as two possible values 1 and minus 2, but negative is not possible. So, the only solution for this one comes as P, right? Go for the next one. Now, third one let root 3 i cap plus j cap, i cap plus root 3 j cap and beta i cap plus 1 minus beta j cap be the position vectors of x, y, z with respect to the origin O respectively. If the distance of z that is the third one means beta i cap plus 1 minus beta j cap, distance of z from the bisector of the acute angle of O x vector and O y vector. Now, we can plan it in this manner, let us say these are in 2D, this point is root 3 comma 1, when I join the point root 3 comma 1 with origin, and the other one, 1 comma root 3 with origin. So, when I go for root 3 comma 1 with origin, I observe 30 degree angle. When I go with 1 comma root 3 joining to origin, I observe 60 degree angle. Now, the angle bisector will clearly be at 45 degree means y equals x is the required line. This is the angle bisector. Now, moving ahead, question says, if the distance of z from the bisector of the acute angle of O x and O y vector is 3 by root 2. So, distance of this point that is beta comma 1 minus beta from the line x minus y equals 0 is 3 by root 2. So, simply we can get the value for beta and the value for beta obtained as p and q that is 1 and 2 that is the mod beta right. Move to the next one that is d. Suppose that f alpha denote the area of the region bounded by x equals 0 x equals 2, then a parabola is given y square equals 4 x and y equals mod of alpha x minus 1 plus mod of alpha x minus 2 plus alpha x, where alpha is from the set 0 comma 1. So, we need to put the values 0 and 1 1 by 1. So, on substituting we will get different lines, we have a parabola trace the curve simply get the area, when we try to trace it we obtain the curve like this one a parabolic shape is obtained, right, line x equals 2 is there and this one. So, simply integrate, we have the result as 6 that is 2 into 3, the block 6 minus the parabolic shape that gives you the required result. So, the required result in this case, it is when alpha is 0 and alpha is 1, we have to find f alpha plus 8 by 3 root 2, right. The value op is obtained as 5 and 6 that is s and t, options s and t, correct. So, we obtain the value for this one as 5 and t. So, this is all from the paper 1. Thank you.